mid pipe and the turbo is out and i checked it out i don't got no play yay so it's still good uh this is how it looks and you can see my rod knock knock who's there Ooh, need a hole there and down there steering is out uh, just leaving it on top because I can't disconnect this wire right here so that's why I had to remove it um, and it was a pain in the butt because if you see here it's broken and this is where I put my half inch um, and it's notorious uh, most evils end up breaking bad flaw from Mitsubishi well I was able to put a screwdriver there and pry it that way and get it done. And it's a little pain in the ass because it's just me working on it right now. So, yeah. That's left is just disconnect the diff in the back and then drop this motor and tranny from the bottom and let's see how it goes. Ready to chain it up. I've already taken off the drive shaft that goes inside the fucking um, differential that goes through there. So that one's already out. Um, basically, it's just size 12 right there, and then a special tool that I borrowed. This right here. So I put this in the axle so I won't fuck up the seal. Put this on the actually drive shaft and just screw it on until it pops out and that's it i'm just gonna chain it up real quick and take off this support all the way take out that motor mount and that tranny mount over there and this one right here the one that goes right there and this motor should come down one way or another tension already I'm gonna take the bottom ones first and then work myself on the top show was a pain in the ass but we got the diff out it's not there anymore it's over there it's out Thanks to the help of my girl over there. And then. <laughs> what? You have Russian? Trying to stay cool. But nah, draw. Nah, just to drop the motor down there. Let it sit on that. And then hopefully it clears this. This is as high as I could put it up, but we'll see right now. Motor is out. Woohoo! It was a pain in the ass because the car wasn't fully up, so we had to pull it out through here to the side. Um, and somehow we managed. Um, cleaned up a little bit. I spilled oil. I thought it had no oil, but it still had some engine oil in there. So 
that's the big old mess right there but we cleaned it up and then now we gotta start tearing that one apart take out the transmission and put it on that one Number two, I'm gonna take out this wire harness, this differential, this tranny off of here, and basically just gonna use the block for this motor. And then I got the new head over there using the old transmission and differential. So basically, all I need is the block. So I'm gonna transfer the stuff from the other block over here to this block right here. And then put the head, transmission, differential, all together. One wire harness is already out with the ECU and everything. Uh, this is pretty sweet about Mitsubishi. They were able to split it into two. This is where the other connector goes, which is pretty cool. This one goes to the battery terminal and the starter right there. And a couple of grounds. This is a ground and the ground for the terminal. So I'm gonna take this one next. I did have to take out the valve cover for the spark plugs uh, to disconnect this one and the one over there, two over there. So I'm going to do that first, then do a turbo probably, then the intake manifold, then the head, or probably do the transmission first before I do the turbo. And the differential first. Oh, differential first, then tranny, then turbo, then intake manifold. So ran into a problem. I forgot to take off the half shaft right here, and I already gave the tool back to my friend. So... I'm just going to take out the whole transmission with the differential. It's going to weigh a lot more, but it's the only way I'm going to get it out. So I'm going to leave that for last. Take off the turbo, intake manifold, all of this stuff, and the head. That way, Saturday, my boy could help me put on and assemble everything back together. Though This block with the new head, or the used refurbished head, and then put on the transmission and diff and slap it in there get it up and running so the intake manifold is already out bunch of screws top and bottom a couple of brackets you had to take off so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like nine or 10. Then you still have a bracket that goes here and another bracket that goes here. Um, but it's fairly easy when the motor's out. Now to take off the turbo on this side and the transmission. already out it's over there put it over here that way i don't get them mixed up i doubt i'll get it mixed up because that one has an open dump so time to take off the head and then the transmission and diff already out as you can see um took off the timing belt just off of this so it's right here has like 10 bolts um also valve cover had a bunch of them had to take the coils off um and had to take off 
think it's the water pump or the thermostat or a housing. This goes right here. So I had to take it off. But next thing is a transmission and differential together since I don't have the whole the tool to take off the half shaft on the other side. I'm um, just taking it all together. It's gonna be heavy, but hey, my dumbass for not taking it out. Okay, sorry I didn't record. I took out the diff and the transmission. Transmission's over there. And I'm just gonna wait until my buddy comes so I could put it all together, use this block, put the head, transmission and differential, and then I'm probably gonna put it back in there. So that's it for today. Thank you.